moved out of the telescope. Huh. Alright, somebody else, do me a favor and keep an eye on them for a little while. See if they actually move away or something happens to them. Because I get the feeling that that's actually a scripted event. Well, good day to you, sir. Hello. Random person saying hi. I will admit, these people are very friendly to the white folk. I am white, but still. Look at her. Ain't she some kind of beauty? You know, that's where all the immigrants used to pass through. Jane's and Joe's Tanty, you know you gotta be somebody now. <laughs> Somebody's saying stuff in the background. Just explain this place. Hey officers! Here, pal. Okay. Streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's yeah. enough TNT back there to blow Peking to Kingdom Come. Again. <laughs> Better find another way around. Yep, let's go up here. I agree. Keep safe. Should we go in? <laughs> Devil's kiss. Yeah, it says light the way, but you have no idea how much lighting it does. <laughs> if I told you a man could hoist a one ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friend. I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. These are beggars. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are beggars I'm talking that. about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you hmm. has tasted the divine gift of the beggar? One this stuff is very useful, the by the way. Your finger. Never... No forget the very oh hey I missed this I missed this the first time around <laughs> wow cigarettes for kids uh oh okay <laughs> Okay, we can fix it. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, lag. Uh. Oh yeah, vending machine with vigors in it. So I'm gonna go around here really quickly to show you how how I do this stuff. Let's do it. Ah, damn it, she moved right in the way. Okay, I got him. Doesn't matter if you hit her as long as you hit the opponent. Oh, damn it! That's not rigged at all. Got her. All right, the middle one should be on the right. Oh, that was gonna play me again. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'll give it a shot. I'm pretty good with the shotgun. <laughs> I'm not going to go for the 10-pointer unless I can actually get it, you know. It's random how much you can get. Sometimes it cuts you off just short. Alright, left. No, right. Got him. Got him. Got him. This place is going to be filled with bullet holes. Filled. Bang. <laughs> uh, I know that these guys are kind of good guys, but I got to get the points. 
Alright, almost got it. Oh, I shot the clock. Not the clock, the timer. There we go. And I beat the record. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take your money and leave gladly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is cool. This is just sort of a side thing. A feat of strength no man has ever seen. <laughs> ding, ding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. These stallions are automated. It, it's kind of weird. But then again, it's better than, um, you know, having them be around here anyways. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Huh. Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Right. That's cool to actually sort of demonstrate it in this. They sort of um, threw it in otherwise. Bucking Bronco did that already. Uh, there's only a few things that you can actually do in this. <laughs> you have no idea. Let's do it. I love sharpshooting. I tend to use... I don't use the sights. And you can see why. Oop. Got him. Fred, could you want to turn um, mouse smoothing off in this? Mostly just because if you don't, it will be incredibly difficult to actually aim the gun. <laughs> Because you will be spinning around doing 360s, and you don't want that. Hmm. <laughs> you that they view the Vox Populi as very terrible, and have them in these sort of seat thieves garments, and these angry faces? That's sort of, um... Point is that they want this whole thing to be kind of propaganda. He does not like the light, but still. Hey. Come on down and see the amazing handyman. Is he mad? Is he machine? Look at him. He looks kind of. Man. Seen anything like it? He looks so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? Everything. Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Has a pay telephone ever refused to connect you with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Hmm. Give me one of those. I'll take that, yeah. With just a whisper, they're all ears. All right, here we introduce the vigor. Mm. And I don't know what this is. <laughs> there we go. A very useful technique, by the way. Um, quite honestly, though, I like blowing them up rather than... I don't know why it keeps doing that, but it keeps bugging out like that. It wasn't doing that to me before. It might just be fraps, but... Yeah, free sample. This isn't a sample, buddy. This is the full thing. Anyways, before we get going... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> and then... We hit this guy. The raffle is all sold out. 
entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Yes, and that don't mean me. Well, as it isn't as said, Lemin Buford, your spot at the Rattle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine. Heads. Hmm. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Tails. Told you. <laughs> I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Yep. <clears throat> but earlier when we were watching the two in the boat, it makes me wonder if these two are them. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll always see with these games. Cat just locked in. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so <clears throat> in this game they replaced the normal Adam and Eve from the first one with Vigors and Salt. What this means is that you don't have to g buy Adam anymore. Instead, all you have to do is just get just some money. Oh, look at that. Tell he's waiting. <laughs> Let me just take the clown and the uh, gunman. Sorry, just this part's got a lot of talking in it, so I can't really do much talking, which is kind of nice. To, it, it, I mean, a lot of this place has a lot of ambience in it. There's just so much to look at. Just look at all of that. <sighs> Honestly, this brings me a lot of nostalgia, just sort of seeing these graphics, seeing, well, not really graphics, just sort of seeing the open world like this. It brings back a lot of nostalgia from when I was a kid and wondering where, what was behind everything, you know? the box out of the skyline system uh, we gotta have the best uh, they got any openings in the group I'd love to bust some box skull <laughs> <laughs> so what they did in the original one was that they made water the end the sort of I don't know what to call it really but it's just sort of there it's always there and it's always looming it's sort of this enemy that you can't fight and this one, I think they did the same thing with the sky, because it's always there, and you can always see the edge of these areas. But you can also see what's out there as well, and you know that you're probably going to go to most of it. I mean, not stuff off in the far distance, but some of the stuff that's floating around here, you'll probably see it see at some point. <laughs> Take a look at that. I'm starting to think that maybe that's Lady Comstock doing that stuff. I don't know, I'm just analyzing stuff a bit too much maybe, but who knows? It's, sometimes it's good to analyze stuff in the game. Madam Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. What the... So, yep. You can already see where this is going, can't you? And hell, you've probably already seen where this is going. But, we've got to go through it anyways. We'll have to deal with everything here later. Oh well, yeah, pay attention to these police boxes. They open up when there's police around. Just a small tip. Just a small tip. 
So if there's no combat going on, these they won't open up. More salt is always useful. Mine. Yeah, I know I'm low on salts. I don't care really. Um, I think that they added in salts not just because they're rather cool, but also sort of a way to balance out the player and the enemies. A smart, a smart player on hard mode will know how to use his salts and how to use his vigors to his advantage, and will make it so that you know you can break through their defenses and all that. There are so many salts and vigors to choose one from that you're gonna have to pick which one you like the best. Nineteen twelve. Yeah, I'm coming. Just taking a look around. Sorry, no <laughs> sale. Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl. Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? Then the winner is number seventy-seven. Oh, what do you know? Here, here. Oh, please don't give me away. Oh, great. Damn. Your coffee I'm gonna throw this asshole. I'm definitely gonna throw it right at your little top hat. Come on. Come on. Your top hat goes bye bye. Damn it. Now, where'd you get that brand? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Oh shit. Oh! Oh! He did it, not me. Hold still. You're dead. Oh, dead? Okay. Um, I forgot about that. That was one of the things that I wanted to mention was that this game makes the executions, which are very new to this series, rather something that you oh don't want to do. I've never seen a game make an execution so duh, satisfying and at the same time gruesome. That's kind of the first for me. And honestly, it's not a bad thing. Just sort of it makes you think. Uh, it makes you sort of regret killing them in a way like that. Die. You die now. Oh, not like- oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, dear. Alright, now they come out with the guns. Time to take cover. Alright, time to take cover. Where are they? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. There he is. Save the small health kit. Save the small health kit. And I'm gonna have to back up or charge him. Charge him. We're gonna charge him. That could have gone pretty bad, honestly. You took out quite a bit of health as well, but fortunately, I paid attention to the health kit, and I saved it. Oh, we shot through it. Huh. Well. Alright. As you can see, your health isn't really that good in this game. At least on hard mode. It's very hard to keep it up. Salts are full. That's good. Alright, I need the salts. Especially for what comes up ahead. Pistol ammo's full. really quickly hit you. Steal everything you've got for me. Fall back. And nab that little beauty of an item over here. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I need a... Oh. Oh yeah. Well, before it finishes, I'm just going to do this really quick. So this item grants me the ability to do that. Hold and release 
to create a ghostly trap. No, oh, it worked this time. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. Uh oh. Well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Yeah, like I said, I have never before seen a game make the execution so satisfying and gruesome all at the same time. Makes me feel a little awkward doing stuff. I'm gonna do something really quick. Be right back.